Hello guys, I'm gonna teach you how to create a database and a table in PHP MyAdmin. It's so simple. Yeah, before that we need to start the exam server. In my computer the exam server is in C drive. So go to C drive, go to exam and exam control. It's already running. Okay, thank you then. It's here. It's here. You need to turn on the Apache server and the MySQL server. So start both. After that, go to Firefox, open it, and type localhost slash php myadmin. So hit enter. After that, if you set the password, it will ask for the password. If you don't set the password, it will just go inside without asking the password. So here I set the password, so it's asking, type the password, and click the button, go. Yeah, go away. Yeah, creating database in PHP My Admin is so simple. You, you, you just need to go here, this bu uh, home button. Actually, we are in the home only, so you can see it here, create new database. So it's so simple, just give the database name, something, some database. Yes. And don't worry about this collision and all other stuff in here, because we are, go we are in a beginning stage, so we don't worry about all these stuff now. Just create the, just give the name of the database. Mm, hit the create button. Oh god, something has happened. Oh, push it. Root. Yep. Sometimes it will, it will happen. Sometimes. It's embarrassing. Okay, some database. You, we have created a new database now here. So all these are all databases already available in this PHP method. So our database is created now. Just if you want to create a table, that is also it's simple, it's already there. Create new table on database, some database. So we have created a database and we are going to create a table there. And create a table called users and give the number of fields. Number of fields is number of columns going to be up in a table. So here I'm giving three. Okay, select that. Three and hit go. Here we go. We have this field and type and length and default collision, all this stuff. Field is nothing but field name. Uh, most of the table, not most of the table, uh, all of the table it has ID in it. So give that ID. And ID is basically the data type, so being integer then the length of the id uh, it, this is also an important thing in giving a length uh, let's say if we have a, uh, we are going to have only 100 records in it uh, i mean uh, yeah 99 records in it so we can simply give two length length is nothing but it's two digits so it's like mm, This is one digit and this is two digit. We already know that this is basic. So length of this is one and this is two. So if you give length three, so which means you can have these many numbers. So till triple nine. So thousand is be will become four digits. So if you want to have more than thousand uh, records in that table, you have to give for length so here i'm going to have only uh below thousand that means nine 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 triple nine so let's select three values and default a uh, default always you can have a null default or a time stop or something like that just don't select anything now for now mm, then color is and don't worry about this also don't worry about this also index don't worry about this also but i'm going to have this 
column as auto increment so whenever I insert a value this will increment automatically increments that uh, value which means one it will start with the one and it will continue whenever you add one more record in here it will uh, uh, keep adding one two three four five it's like a series so select that auto increment and don't worry about all these columns leave that just create a one more field called username and username it's basically a string value so you have to select where care for this and the length so username usually people have more than 15 characters 15 digits so have 15 characters here in numbers we say digits here it's characters so we have 15 or if you want to have 20 make it 20 no problem and default value leave that leave that all these things so it cannot be auto increment because it's very correct and password password also password you can use again very care here and give that 25 or 30 whatever value you like to do just then this engine this is very important basically mysqls i mean uh, uh, php my admin my uh, default engine is um, my exam but if you want to select other also it's no problem so select the my exam and click save yep we have created a table with that id and the username and the password and always after creating a table make that id as a primary key so uh, do you want to oh, oh my god it's already created sorry because we have created that auto increment so auto increment is nothing but it, it, if you select this it will create a primary key for that so primary key is basically uh, to eliminate duplicate records so uh, this is the query for that instead of writing this query and we are doing this ui so we have created one, one database and a table there so but no values in it if you go to the browse you can see that cross red cross on it on it so inserting will live also it's so easy click that insert button insert link actually so here id you actually you don't need to give this id here because it's auto increment we already selected that right so just create a username there Agar chant and password is pass and if you want to have one more mm, f uh, record on that, in that table in this user table just create one more superman superman is back so click go yep insert into some database user so all these values are written automatically by this PHP my admin. This is some uh, power of MySQL PHP my admin. And if you now go there, it's showing hand. If I click here, so two records created. So a database, a table, and we inserted two records. And also, if we want to edit this record, just click this edit button here. I'll leave that Spider-Man and click kill. So it's edited now. Select update something something else. So Superman Spider-Man. So today we learned how to create a database, how to create a table on it, and how to insert values in it, and how to edit those values. Thank you guys for watching my videos. Please subscribe for more videos. Thank you guys. How to stop this?